one gray outfit all of October. That's what Courtney Cross, along with other BGSU students, did to raise awareness for human trafficking. For me, like me sacrificing this little thing, that's like a lot for me. But when you realize what they go through on a daily basis, it kind of puts in perspective how um, we take a lot of our freedom for granted. They have no control over their life. As a matter of fact, that's one of the things that happens. Often when a person is trafficked, they are taken out of their realm. They're taken out of their neighborhood. They're taken out of their community so that they become totally dependent on the trafficker. It's extremely common to hear that human trafficking is worse in Toledo, but this happens to be a myth. We are stopping it better, so it looks like we have statistics that make it sound like trafficking is worse here. It is not. Is there trafficking in Northwest Ohio? Absolutely. We have actually um, police officer in the city of Toledo and an FBI agent who do nothing but investigate human trafficking, and they are really good at their job. All of the money raised is being donated to Lucas County Human Trafficking Coalition. Um, it actually is going to their emergency fund for survivors. If there's no other services, this emergency fund is there that people can apply for help. If you suspect that someone is being trafficked, it's encouraged to call the Human Trafficking Hotline. Reporting for BG24 News, I'm Macy Austin.